Bonjour les Français. Je vous présente les notes pour donner et recevoir les directions. D'abord, on va discuter les verbes utiles. Premier, pour « to go », c'est un verbe super bien connu, le verbe « aller ». En général, on entend « we hear »« aller » ou « aller ». Spelled either way, the infinitive or the vu form to command people to go a certain way. To continue, continuer. Again, presented in context either as continuer to continue or continuer, continue like as a direction to a group of people. You'll find that most of the verb that we present aujourd'hui have OZ as their ending when you're commanding others to do something. En général, it's assumed that you're either being formal to be polite or that someone is being formal with you by using the OZ vous form or that you're talking to more than one person. Continuer. To follow, c'est le verbe suivre. Et pour les commandes, suivez. To pass, passer. Ou bien la commande, passer. To turn, tourner. Ou bien, tourner. To cross over, traverser. Traverser. Attention, ici, uh, just a gentle reminder that when we connect things en français, that we have to make certain, especially when we're saying go to a place or in a place or at a place in giving directions, that we make the proper connections with that place and a. Okay? That depends on féminin, masculin, pluriel, and vowel sounds. If you're rapping, it sounds like so. A la is féminin, and O is masculine, and O, X is pluriel, and a la, a la, a la, before a vowel. Au centre de la page, nous avons les exemples, and perhaps you'll like to note these as well. Par exemple, tournez à gauche ici. Turn left here. Passez la bibliothèque. Pass by the library. Continuez tout droit sur l'avenue Flagstaff. Continue straight on Flagstaff Avenue. Then you can see tourner, passer, and continuer in context for directions. Question that you might hear or ask en français if you're inquiring about directions. C'est loin d'ici. C'est loin d'ici. C'est loin d'ici. Or also, c'est près d'ici, c'est près d'ici. C'est près d'ici, is that close to here? C'est loin d'ici, is that far away? You might also have to give or receive directions where you're talking about the first or second or third street or landmark before you make a turn or change direction. In that case, you'll need to use ordinal numbers, the ones that put things in order. You know the first one, you're familiar with it. Premier or première, if you're talking about something that's féminin. So, premier, and if you're talking about something féminin, première. So, taking off this er and attaching a accent er e for féminin. If something is the deuxième, the second, no matter whether it's masculine or féminin, we can use deuxième, deuxième. If it's the third in a series, troisième, troisième. Et finalement, nous avons les directions. À droite, à droite, to turn right. À gauche, à gauche, to the left. Tout droit, tout droit. Pas beaucoup de T on either one of those, by contrast with à droite, which you need to do the T on. Tout droit, straight ahead. Voici les exemples ici. Par exemple, allez tout droit sur l'avenue Cedar. Go straight on Cedar Avenue. Tournez à droite sur rue Ekin. Turn right onto Ekin Road. Tournez à gauche sur rue Palatnob. 
Turn left on Pilot Knob Road. Voilà, ce sont les directions en français. À bientôt.